Dear LIC Agents, we are proud to bring to you Atmanirbhar Agent New Business Digi App or Ananda in short. Ananda is an agent assisted module which provides a complete seamless and paperless digital platform to help you fill customer's proposal form and sign in through electronic mode. Ananda facilitates KYC completion, gets signature of the proposer and agent's confidential report through Aadhaar, which means it simply lets you work from home and ensures a hassle-free process for tech-savvy customers. This video, specially created for you, will show how easy it is to fill a proposal and submit it with digital signatures. Before walking through the process, you need to note the following. You should be an authorized portal user. Once online, open the Microsoft Edge browser or Google Chrome. And remember, it is compulsory for both agents and customers to have an Aadhaar card and a mobile number mapped to it. At present, only certain kinds of proposals can be submitted through this module, which means only non-medical proposals, maximum premium up to 50,000 rupees, non-ULIP plans, policies that cover one's own life, that is, proposal form number 300 and non-minor nominations can be submitted. For proposals in which Development Officer MHR is required will be added shortly. All modes except NACH are allowed. Keep in mind that the previous proposals of proposer must have been accepted with standard rates. Option for ENACH mode will be provided soon. So let's begin with the landing page of the module. This page has all the instructions relating to EKYC and e-signature. Before you proceed, please read the instructions carefully. First, generate the Aadhaar XML file for EKYC and then generate VID number for e-signature for both agent and the customer. After reading the instructions, click on the declaration and then click on I agree button and proceed to the next page. Here, key in your credentials, that is, your user ID and password, and then click on Sign In button. Once your credentials are verified, you are taken to the next page. To upload your own eKYC, key in your mobile number linked to your Aadhaar card and enter the four-digit passcode you have set while downloading the offline KYC. If you have not downloaded the offline KYC earlier, you can download it now. To upload the XML file, click on the Browse button. Choose the XML file and then click on Continue to proceed. Refer to the Downloading Aadhaar XML section of this video to download XML file for eKYC. Now, you receive an OTP on your mobile. Enter the OTP and click on Continue. Make sure your mobile number is mapped with your Aadhaar. Once your OTP is authenticated, basic details like name, gender, date of birth, address and photo will be populated from Aadhaar. Check the details and click on Continue. Here you get all the information on the basic requirements for the module and the available plans. To proceed further, click on Continue. This is a general information page which gives you various options of the available module. On top of this page, you will see various options. To calculate premium, benefit illustration and lead generation, click on premium calculator and lead generation. For all pending proposals and leads, click on pending cases. And for proposal status, POC status and generate FPR, click on Inquiry. To e-sign ACR, click on Admin Jobs. In case you need to resend a proposal validation link to your customer, click on Admin Jobs. And to understand the detailed guidelines, click on User. The first premium receipt can be generated and resent through the above options. Now. Click on Premium Calculator and Lead Generation. On this page, 
the premium calculator is categorized under various groups such as endowment, whole life, money back, term assurance, health plans, pension plans and ULIP plans. Now select a specific plan and click on it. This screen captures the data which is relevant for premium calculation. In the personal information, there will be date of birth, resident status, country of residence, gender and type of proposal. In the product information section, since you have already selected the plan, you need to fill the sum assured, payment mode, policy term, premium paying term and the date of proposal. And in the rider benefits section, fill the police personnel column, accident benefit required, ABADDB rider sum assured, critical illness sum assured and term rider sum assured columns. After filling up the sections, click on calculate premium. It is important to choose the right option as these will have an impact on the premium amount. The premium calculation will be displayed with the breakup for all riders and the GST amount. If you click the view benefit illustration, the benefit illustration will be displayed. This is the view of benefit illustration which will be approved by the customer. Then click on confirm and proceed. In this page, the agency details gets auto-populated along with premium details. Remember, this page is non-editable. Now, click on Generate Lead. Here, you get an option to copy the data from the previous policy which was completed under this module. If no previous policy was completed under this module, then select No and click on Proceed. The general instructions for downloading XML file and completing the process of eKYC is given in this screen. Now click on proceed. Here you need to key in customer's mobile number which is linked to Aadhaar and enter the 4 digit passcode which was set while downloading the offline KYC of the customer. If you have not downloaded it earlier you get an option to download the offline KYC once again. Then click on continue to proceed. The customer will receive an OTP on his mobile. You have to enter the OTP and click on continue. After the OTP is authenticated, basic details like name, gender, date of birth, address and photo will get populated from Aadhaar. After you confirm the details, Click on Continue. Now enter the communication address if it is different from that of Aadhaar. Then enter the email address and mobile number of the customer. If the customer's mobile number and email ID are incorrect, they may not receive the OTPs and validation links. Then save and proceed. In the basic information page, you need to enter the age proof, address proof, an identification proof which will appear by default through Aadhaar with full DOB as all the details are captured through Aadhaar with offline KYC. Other details like marital status, education qualification, place of birth, PAN number and name of spouse are to be entered. PAN number is mandatory where annualized premium is more than 50,000 rupees. The module will validate the PAN number provided by the customer. The policy related information will get auto populated from the personal information page of the premium calculation menu. Now click on save and proceed. In this module you have to fill in occupational details like occupation, nature of duty, source of duty, annual income, name of the present employer length of service completed in years and other details. Questions related to occupation and legal information needs to be filled by selecting yes or no. After filling up the details, click on save and proceed. Here, fill in the additional information of the proposer including the objective of insurance, income proof, tax bracket, employment and total income from various sources. After completion, click on save and proceed. 
this screen enables the user to fill up the particulars of the previous policies. Once done, press the tab button on your keyboard to automatically receive all the details of the LIC policies. These details will have to be entered manually in case the policy is from other insurance companies. To save the details and move to the next page, click on Save and Proceed. In this screen, accept in details of the previous policies and also information regarding the simultaneous proposals on self or family is sought. To make the process simple, select Yes or No. In case the answer is a no to all the questions, then select no once and all the questions get auto-selected as no. The same process applies to all the yes or no questionnaire section. Now click on save and proceed. Here fill in the family history of the proposer. Details of family members should be selected from the drop-down. Remember you will have to save each and every section. After the details are filled, click on Save and Proceed. Continuing with the details, this page focuses on habits. For more convenience, all related questions are clubbed together and can be filled by simply selecting Yes or a No. Click on Save and Proceed after you have filled in all the details. Now this screen provides an option to fill in the details regarding the health of the customer. Here you have to fill in the height and weight along with other relevant questions. Select yes or no and once you have completed, click on save and proceed. In this section, you need to fill in the medical history of family and self. Select yes or no against each question. If answer to all the questions in this group is no, then click no once and subsequently all the questions in the group will also get auto-clicked as no. In doing this, user will save time. If any question is filled as yes, the annexure for ailment details opens to fill the information. Now click to save and proceed. Here, the option for settlement of maturity and payment of death benefits in installments can be chosen as per the preference of the customer. Now, click to Save and Proceed. Now, fill in the bank account details correctly. Once the IFSC is entered, bank details such as bank name, bank branch and bank address are fetched automatically. Please key in the nominee details. Choose the percentage of share for each nominee and keep in mind that the nominee can be one or more person and should be a major. After filling in the details, click on Save and Proceed. Next is the COVID annexure which needs to be filled correctly as the module matches it with the prevailing COVID underwriting guidelines while processing it through the e-underwriting engine. Then. Click on Save and Proceed. Now you are on the declaration page. These terms need to be fully explained to the customer so that he or she understands it completely. After explaining, click on I agree. The ACR or the agent's confidential report is the most critical part of an agent's responsibility. You need to provide complete and correct information of the proposer and rule out any moral hazard. Several fields get auto-populated from the data filled in the proposal form. Once the ACR is completed, click on Save and Proceed. The entire data is now converted into a single PDF document. At this stage, check the data once again and if it is correct, click option to attach BOC which will take you to the next screen. If not, edit the details which are incorrect. Currently, the BOC can be created in two ways. At the branch cash counter where the agent is attached or at the empowered agent portal. And the good news is that the new system for online payment will be introduced shortly. 
helping customers pay their consideration amount through the payment gateway. Here, you need to enter the particulars of the BOC. If the BOC amount is less than the premium amount, then module may ask for additional amount which can be keyed in at the second BOC. If the amount of BOC is more than the required premium, an X charge is created for the balance amount as per the existing practice. Then, click on Proceed. Once the BOC is attached correctly, a mail is sent to the customer with a link to validate the proposal. This is how the customer will receive the link for verification and validation for the proposal form. Now, click on the link. Click to view proposal. On clicking the link, they get an option to view and edit the proposal. If the data is correct, customers need to click on proceed to go to the next screen. Here, the premium is displayed along with the name of the customer, plan and term, premium paying term and mode. Once the customer agrees by ticking the consent box and clicks on proceed, the proposal gets validated. Once the proposal is validated, it leads to the e-sign portal where the proposal documents can be viewed and the customer can proceed for e-signature by clicking on proceed. While the transaction is in process, page should not be refreshed or customers should not click the back button. Now, the customer has to key in the 16-digit VID number and generate the OTP sent to the Aadhaar-linked mobile number of the customer, which has to be entered in the OTP box. The e-signature is now successful and the message is displayed on the screen. Proceed with the ACR. Now, e-sign the ACR either through the link sent by email or click on the header Admin Jobs by selecting the eSign ACR. Enter the Access ID and click on Proceed to enter the eSign portal. On the portal, you can view the document. After reading the document, click on Proceed for eSign of ACR. Enter your 16-digit VID number to generate OTP. Input the OTP and click on Submit. The message is displayed for your consent. Click on Close. Here, the user may view both the e-sign documents, that is, proposal form and the ACR. After this, the proposal gets registered, for which an email is sent to the customer, agent and the branch with the proposal number. Once the branch completes the proposal, an auto-generated FPR is mailed to the customer. And here is the sample of their first premium receipt. Now, we shall go through the process of downloading the XML file of Aadhaar for offline eKYC. This is the URL to access the UIDAI site to download Aadhaar. You will be redirected to the UIDAI site. Key in the 12-digit Aadhaar number and security code to receive OTP. Now, enter the 4-digit share or passcode along with OTP and download the XML file for offline KYC. It will get downloaded in the download folder of the device used and it is not to be tampered with. Remember, the downloaded file should be correctly uploaded for agent or a customer. The XML file will be saved in the download folder of your device. Make sure to upload the correct file. We will also understand how to generate the virtual ID of Aadhaar required to e-sign the document through Aadhaar. To start, click on the URL and access the UIDAI website to download VID for e-signature. The link will redirect you to the UIDAI site. Enter the 12-digit Aadhaar number and CAPTCHA to receive the OTP. Enter the OTP and click on Generate VID. VID is sent to your registered mobile number. In case you have forgotten your VID, this option can be used to retrieve the VID. 
this is the sample of the VID generated and sent to the Aadhaar holder. Use the 16-digit code to create e-signature. Ananda is designed to bring convenience to the process and to add happiness to your work life.